I've lived in Washington, D.C. now for 10 years, and I've been assaulted three times. My name is Jennifer Corey. In 2009, I was crowned Miss District of Columbia. I went on to compete in the Miss America pageant in Las Vegas, finishing in the top 10. My platform became street harassment to fight against sexual harassment of women in public places. Really just trying to make the streets of Washington, D.C. safer. I was assaulted last year on the Metro coming back from work. I got on the Metro and just as the doors were closing, a man came up behind me and shoved me into the car. And the doors closed behind him, so now I was stuck in the, in the car, couldn't move, I couldn't really turn, I couldn't see anybody. And slowly I started to feel something touching me from behind. I could still feel the pressure more and more building into pushing into behind me. And I knew what it was. I just didn't want to admit I knew what it was. And at one point, I just started to panic and I turned my body a little bit and I could see that he had his hand in his pants. And I, I couldn't get that image out of my head and I just started to dart my eyes around looking like silently screaming for anybody to help me. So when we got to the Pentagon stop, the doors opened and I jumped out of the car and he followed me out. And I just stood there frozen and we locked eyes and he just kept walking and just gave me this deep, terrifying stare that chilled me all the way to my bone. And he went up the escalator and I jumped back on the Metro before the doors closed. Um, and I just immediately started crying. All I was thinking was like, I should have known what to do. This is, this is what I do. This is what I advocate for. This is what I tell women all the time about what to do in these situations. And I had no idea what to do. Just because you live in a big city and you're riding public transportation doesn't mean that it's okay for somebody to touch you. It's not just part of living in a city. It's wrong and it's illegal. Since this incident happened on the Metro, I honestly have not taken the Metro to that station. I find myself getting a lot more anxious on the Metro, being much more aware of my surroundings. And it's, it's almost sad that I feel that burden, that the burden's on me to protect myself. It's just very unfortunate that me and so many other women have to go through their lives like that every single day.